Hello everyone, it's Nydia, day two, in your face, like, uh. Hi Nydia, what are you writing? Oh, I'm making some notes for today. Tomorrow you help me devise a personality compatibility matrix. You still have time to help, of course. Wow, she's really serious about this. That was real quick. Here we're gonna do it. It's gonna load all the way 100%. Now. That was lame. I'm sorry. I let, I let you all down. Hope you can forgive me. Hi, Emil. Hey, Nydia. What are you so excited about? Well, I was just wondering if you're coming to Magic Club today. Sounds magical. That was so lame. Emil, I don't mean to be rude, but your friends really trivialize the seriousness of Magic Club. Thank you. Oh, sorry. Or maybe they show that you're comfortable with the subject. Maybe I should try. Every morning I try to exercise in the park. I brought a sandwich and tabbouleh for lunch. I was scared I'd check my horoscope. That was terrible. I love you. Wait, what? Maybe you're right. Maybe the subject requires a certain level of dignity. You think so? Let's just go to the library. Because we all know what kids do in the library. Thanks for coming. I really appreciate your help, Amul. It's not a problem, but... How am I going to be helping, exactly? We're going to combine. In the library? What? Wait. I mean, I've never combined... I just said too much. I need to take a deep breath here. Okay. Nydia, I think this is what Principal Dig Dug was talking about. I don't get it. You're very direct. Not everyone is ready to just dive into something like that, especially when they don't know the details. And furthermore, is it really fair to try and involve someone in your destiny without being completely open with them? There's nothing wrong with being direct, but I think you just need to be upfront about the whole truth. Saving the world is a huge burden. I was going to say responsibility. And Destiny really bothers her for some reason. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is, if there's someone you have in mind, I can help you talk to them. I'm no king of all cosmos, but talking can be one of my good points. Really? You mean that? Of course. Um, did you have anyone in mind? Tamari helped me put together a method for determining compatibility. He calls it the Tamari Personality Compatibility Matrix. He's in the matrix. I've narrowed it down to three people. First, Richard Miller. That guy? He's so twitchy. But he's good looking. You know, I think better than tall, dark, and handsome. Wait, is a man in glasses? What? Sorry, I was confused. She seems really into glasses. Second, Hiromi Tengenji. Oh, she's so unapproachable. You think you have a chance? I have my sources. And that cool, confident exterior. The strong, silent type is definitely attractive. What does a person's appearance have to do with combining? I've made the calculations. She's very sure of her tastes. Lastly, Galaga ship. Well, obviously. I know. My heart fluttered a little bit just thinking about that sleek Allurium exterior. Is it Allurium? Me too. Hey, hey. Sure got warm in here. Tell me about it. I should have worn my summer armor. Okay, let's get focused here. Where does Richard Miller usually hang out? He's always where you least suspect him. Surprise! Ah! Now, I don't want to sound suspicious, but I happen to be in the area, and I thought I heard my name. Being behind a mystic veil in the biology section of the library isn't just happening to be in the area, you psycho. We were just talking about you. You were? I see. He's writing furiously in a notebook. His pencil is a blur. Nidia is checking her notes. Maybe these two are compatible. They sure are studious in their own ways. Richard, what do you think of me? Suspicious. So quickly? Everyone is suspicious until proven unsuspicious. Um, what do I say to that? I think he just needs to get to know you. Tell him about yourself. Okay. 
Richard, do you believe in prophecy? I suspect she's in a shadowy cult. What? No, I'm not in any cult. Is this one of the prank shows then? Where are the hidden cameras? There are no hidden cameras. Just some magic, all saying I have my amulet, which I can use to combine with another person to become a dragon. I want your help. Definitely shadowy cult. Where's the rest of your cult? I know they're here. Waiting. Waiting. There's no cult. That's just what someone in a cult would say. Also, someone not in a cult would say that. He ran away. There he goes. You see what I mean? Nobody likes me. I wouldn't base your view of humanity on him if I were you. She looks so bummed out. Um, let's go find Hiromi. Yeah, let's go. This is our motorcycle. Whoa, it's really cool. Surprise! Oh, hi Hiromi. We were just talking about your bike. Um, she's definitely the strong silent type. What's up? Oh, you talked. Um, I was just wondering. Ask if she's free later. Keep it casual. There's nothing about Hiromi that is casual. Are you free later? I'm busy. And spoken for. Spoken for. You're cute. But just because I like fast motorcycles doesn't mean I like fast relationships. A shockingly decisive statement. Relationship? Oh no, I think we're having two different conversations here. Oh. Are we? I'm definitely not interested then. Wow. What an unusual person. Nydia? No one wants to combine with me. Girl, I'll combine with you all night long. They don't even listen. Nydia. Don't give up. I'm sure the next time will go better. Who's next? <laughs> Galalga. Definitely set our sights too high. Come on, let's get this over with. Nydia. She's really hurting. I think there's more going on here than I thought. Well, that's sad. Maybe this isn't such a good idea. Galaga! What do you want, mortal? Combine with me. Everyone wants a piece of Galaga, because Galaga is made of Allurium, the rarest, most passionate metal in the universe. But Galaga is not just some trophy to be prized like an object. Galaga has seen things on the galactic frontier, done things that you cannot imagine. You think Galaga is a thing to be owned. But you cannot own Galaga's experiences. Galaga has feelings, too. Galaga has feelings, too. Well, I... Sell Galaga what you're thinking. I can't do this. This is so stupid. I'm exhausted. I just want to be alone for a while. Nydia, wait! Once again, Galaga becomes embroiled in your earth drama. do 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 is the sound I imagine it made. Nidio, wait! I'm sorry. Sorry? What are you sorry for? I just... I wanted to help, but I was no help at all. I... Students? In the hall? You two. You delinquents! Yeah, I'm a delinquent. I'm not good at anything. Except being alone. Oh my gosh. I definitely knew people like that. I'm a no good, irresponsible, duty shirking, dumb, selfish, um, useless, dumb, idiot. Putting myself in septuple spirit dungeon detention. Whoa, that's a little excessive. Yeah. If I had to spend forever in detention, then I don't have to worry about some stupid prophecy. By the coils of Yarmingunder. I was not prepared for that. I should have put more points into charisma. Nydia? Sheesh. Youth. I know, right? Well, let's try to finish up tomorrow. See you guys next time. And a bye.